Michael, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for asking me out. Michael, let's start with an overview. What is it exactly that Leonovus does? So Leonovus is a data storage company, a software-defined storage company. We uh, provide uh, a software that uh, and, uh, allows companies, large companies, with um, um, have a lot of data to be stored, okay, in object format. Um, another way to put it is it's unstructured data, okay. okay, and that's the largest going segment of the storage market. Forty-two uh, percent compounded annual growth uh, mm -hmm. for every large entity in the world. What's driving that are, are everything from uh, video to IoT to massive amount of regulatory records that have to be kept. Email. Email. Yep. Exa exactly. Okay, and so you've got a you've got a multi sort of faceted offering here, which seems to be winning you lots of market share relative to other incumbents in the space. What are those key differentiators between your service and, for example, say a, a enterprise class Google Drive? So there's three, our value proposition to the customer is a three-legged stool, okay? A return on investment, uh, uh, ultra secure, uh, and regulatory compliance. And uh, every um, data storage provider out there, be it Google Drive, be it Amazon, be it Rogers, be it Bell, they're happy to store your data, but they provide you no guarantees and security when the data is at risk. That's mm. your problem. Mm. You have to store it with your own software mm. on their storage devices. That's what we provide. Okay. We provide an ultra secure way to do that. We do that in a very unique way, which is very blockchain-like, if I could put it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're getting lots of interest from the market. In addition to that, we're adding blockchain technology to make that, make that blockchain-like piece that we have even more secure. Okay, so if we are to understand blockchain and our limited ability as a distributed ledger that is decentralized online where the reconciliation process is automated within the blockchain, if I, I hope I'm close. That's not bad, actually. <laughs> Thank you. That's not bad. Then how does that, how does the Leonovus offering incorporate that sort of architecture into its data storage? Okay, so uh, I'm going to talk about a, a smoothie for a okay. second, a digital smoothie. Okay. okay we take a, a company's data. Imagine this, this is the company's data. Okay. It's the Mona Lisa. It's mm -hmm. worth a lot of money. Right. If you lose your data, you lose your Mona Lisa, you're going to lose a lot of money and you're going to look and your brand's going to be hit big time. Sure. We take the data, we paint it white, we paint it black, we bleach it, we throw it in a digital blender. So we turn your data into a smoothie. Hmm. We then take that data and disperse it across many storage nodes, on-prem, off-prem, multi multiple clouds, right. okay? To be able to take that smoothie and rebuild it back into the original Mona Lisa requires uh, a tremendous amount of metadata, which mm -hmm. all metadata means is data about data, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and if somebody could figure out that methodology, then they could and maybe break the smoothie or rebuild the smoothie, which right. we don't want them to do. Steal your smoothie. Exactly, <laughs> steal it. That, that would be bad. Sure. They would get the Mona Lisa. Right. So all that metadata, now we put that inside a blockchain. Okay. And we unbundle the blockchain because the blockchain itself is distributed. Hmm. Okay. So we made the smoothie making, if you will, this digital data distribution right. process even safer by adding a blockchain piece on the brains or the engine of the tool. Okay. So you've got sort of a multinodal confirmation of integrity going across the chain. Correct. Interesting. All right. So then Leonovus has apparently demonstrated to its customer base that it's got a great product offering and investors seem to be picking up the story because your share price has done very well recently. What is the longer term 12, 18 month picture look like for Leonovus? So our, we just raised 13.75 million. It closed uh, last week plus warrants. Uh, the potential is for another eight or nine million dollars to come into the company over the next um, over the next two years. Mm -hmm. uh, um, $22 million was spent previous to me joining the company a year ago on building the core technology platform. The money we just raised right now is primarily for marketing and sales. Hmm. Okay, so at this point in time, we have a, um, a hot prospect list, we'll call it that, of about 50 customers, several installed, we've announced them, uh, POCs, proof of concepts. And our goal right now is just to keep adding those, adding partners. We added a partner yesterday in St. Louis, Missouri uh, that was announced. And we want to continue to add uh, marketing vehicles that be it partners, be it salespeople over the next six months so that we can get to a point uh, in 24 months where we have our goal is 100 large enterprise customers mm -hmm. that by the end of 36 months will be paying us at least a million dollars a year for our software. Hmm. So the goal is to build a $100 million software company 
in the next 36 months. Okay, great. What is the margin that you realize from your sort of revenue model? So on a gross margin perspective, we're a software company, so it's very high. Mm -hmm. It's in the 85, 90% range, especially if you're selling million dollar software packages. The uh, the real the 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 only uh, real cost of sales is is our commissions. Right. So Support costs are relatively sales. small. Right. And of course, um, uh, there's lots of uh, uh, professional services, but that's in addition to the software sale. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is the blockchain component of your offering or the, the similarity of the architecture is that something that competitors like the other incumbent enterprise class data storage providers are going to adopt going forward and is there a risk that they're going to come and cut your grass, so to speak? There's always a risk of comp competitors coming to cut your grass, mm -hmm. absolutely. Where we're different is the current, um, uh, pro uh, current uh, suppliers of storage. IBMs, the Oracles, the Cisco's, the Amazons. Uh, uh, every large company in the world has those installed. Okay. okay? Equifax had those installed. The Paradise Papers guys had those installed. Mm. Everybody has IBM. Installed. Right. They still get hacked. Right. Okay. So well, that's not the solution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our solution, this smoothie making, if they steal a piece of the smoothie, they get nothing. Okay. Well, that's great. That's a great overview. We're going to leave it there for now. We're going to come back to you in a quarter's time or so and see how you're evolving. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you very much.